Wu Qingyuan, better known by the Japanese pronunciation of his name, Go Seigen, was a Chinese-born Japanese master of the game of Go. He is considered by many chess players to have been the greatest Go player in the 20th century. The story of Wu Qingyuan's first game is very interesting. He was born in a poor family, and his father once studied in Japan. After returning home, his father would play Go games with other people and bet one or two silver dollars in these games to earn some extra money for the family. One day, his father played Go with a famous Fuzhou player named Lin Yitang. The bet was five silver dollars, which was considered very high at the time. We do not know whether it is because of the psychological stress or just bad skills. His father gave Lin the upper hand before the middle game. His father then frowned and went away to think about the next move with the excuse of using the toilet. Lin Yitang was impatient and shamed Wu's father in public. Then, Wu Qingyuan suddenly said, "Can I play the next move for my father?" Wu Qingyuan was only a seven-year-old kid and had never played with anyone formally. Lin Yitang laughed and said, "If you lose." Would your father still pay me the bet? Wu said, "Why do you think I'll lose?" Lin Yitang never took him seriously and let him play it. Surprisingly, Wu Qingyuan turned the overall situation into a victory for his side with just a few moves. Lin Yitang was not convinced and played with him again, betting ten silver dollars, and Lin lost again. After that, Wu's father asked Wu. I didn't teach you to play chess. How did you learn? How bold you are! Wu Qingyuan said, "I see you play Go every day. I don't need to study it to know how to play. I only played with him because I knew that I can win." In 1924, Wu's father died of lung disease. At that time, Wu Qingyuan was only 11 years old. After the father's funeral was done, how to live in the future became the most worrying issue of his family. Although Wu Qingyuan already knew that his family would be having a hard time, he still played chess every day and immersed himself in studying Go. People said to him, "Don't play chess all day; it is useless. Can you eat it in the future?" Wu Qingyuan replied, "I will rely on playing Go to eat in the future." Soon after, Wu Qingyuan was famous for his skills. Duan Qirui heard about him and asked his helpers to find him. Duan Qirui boasted seven duan of Go skills, which is roughly equivalent to four duan in Japan. Wu Qingyuan didn't dare to win him in the first game, but Duan Qirui had already seen his strengths. Duan said, "Don't be afraid. I'm happy if you can win me." Sure enough, Wu Qingyuan won all the following games. From then on, Duan Qirui paid Wu Qingyuan a monthly salary of 100 silver dollars to play chess with him. That made Wu Qingyuan's relatives, who once wanted to persuade him to give up chess, speechless, and created a good environment for him to concentrate on studying chess in his early years. Thank you for watching. If you want to see similar contents, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.